Good morning, and welcome to the California State Leadership Conference newscast. I'm your host, Liam. And I'm Duncan, your other host this morning. We have a few top stories brought to you by some of the finest reporters in the state, and Liam. Today, we'll be checking up on the tours, a special interview with a 4-H alumni, and then the trinket trade. First, some footage from today's tours. Oh yeah, uh, this, this tour, uh, it, sh it showcases a bunch of bees and the, their environments. It's very informative and it's kind of fun too. You get these little uh, bee catcher tools and you can catch bees and observe them. We, we walked around and tried to catch bees in these little vacuums. They have over 4,000 monkeys at the Primate Research Center and that they treat them very well. There's about half, uh, two thirds of them in open areas and about the rest are enclosed areas so they can do research. Um, I think one of my favorite parts was his garage because I mean it had all these like gas pumps on the side and they were pretty old. Um, but then like on top of the garage door there were all these cool little metal cars. The most interesting thing about the tour was probably actually, actually his name wasn't Reef, but the guy himself. Um, now that I think about it, I wonder why they called it Reef's Garage. I don't know. But anyways, the guy himself was super cool, the guy giving the tour. Um, just the way he talked about everything. I mean, really cool guy. That looked like a ton of fun. I really enjoyed the honeybee tour. It was beautiful. Now we'll be heading over to Olivia from the Texas Technology Team for a special interview from a 4-H alumni. Hi, I'm here with Sandy Sathram today. I just have a couple questions for you. How long have you been a part of SLC? I've been coming to SLC for probably about 20 years. I came first as a chaperone with delegates from my county and now I've been on staff for several years. And what are your roles today? My current role is the Dean of Women. Awesome. And what is your favorite memory from SLC? My favorite memories have to do with the people I meet. I always get so many great people and friendships that have de developed from coming to State Leadership Conference, and uh, those friendships carry on. Awesome. And the last thing is, what do you want to see in the future for SLC? I think my goal for the future is I'd love to see just all kinds of kids coming. Uh, State Leadership Conference can hold like 600 kids, right. and so there's just so many great opportunities. I want the word to get out that they should bring more, come. Yes. It's a great experience. Thanks, Olivia, and thank you to Sandy for sharing her story with us. Now we're off to the southern part of campus for the trinket trade. Orange County gave me flowers to plant when I get home. So, tell me about the trinket trade a little bit. It was, it was amazing. amazing. I got, I got so job. much candy. Yeah, it was I spectacular. Got a and golf. Oh this, yeah, this is how much candy we got at the trinket trade. That was great. I really liked all the unique things people brought to the trinket trade. And thank you to all the delegates who attended the tours and the great reporters today. And Liam. Tune in tomorrow for the next episode of SLC News. Thank you. And have a nice day.